All right, we're getting started now. Very, very happy to welcome everybody to this very first. Ready. Are you, am I audible? Audible, Jagat? Crystal clear. Okay, fantastic, buddy. Come on, let's go for I it. Just, I was just about to get started, and uh, I was just telling people I'm really, really excited to launch the Witphone show. This one is something that I have been wanting to do for a while. And uh, firstly, let me make a quick introduction for those who may not know Mr. Vijeta Shastri. Vijeta is uh, the executive director now at Thai. But more importantly, I would say that Vijay Vijeta is, is a friend of the startup ecosystem here in India. How do you like that, Vijeta? Would that be accurate? That's a nice one, sir. <laughs> Thank friend you so much, Jagat. Friend of absolutely, the absolutely. And uh, I would like to welcome everybody. This is called the Vidphone Show. As I said, something that I've been really looking forward to do for a while, where we really get out and talk disruption, talk 10x growth, uh, talking about startups. And of course, we, we are all Indians here. I think a large percentage of this audience would be Indian. So there would be a slightly more emphasis, uh, you know, slight more emphasis on Indian startups and founders. But this hopefully will be something that the global startup audience would would uh, would like, uh, and we would definitely like the global audience to join this whole startup, uh, you know, ecosystem here in India as well. So that being said, uh, I just want to lay out, you know, what we're going to talk about today. Uh, before that, you know, Vijeta, I know that I want to. You know, ask you how has been your day? You have always so many things to share. Uh, how has been your week so far? And some quick updates before I get into the. Sure, movie. sure. Thank you, thank you so much, Jagat. So one is yes, a lot of interesting things are happening, Jagat. I mean, you have also, you know, you are a time member as well, so you know that today we did something on the B two B sales, correct? And if you know, I think uh, you have done also a lot of sessions where you've been sharing about the fact that it's sales, how important it is building relationship. So I think as for the founders, entrepreneurs, and for the core team of the startups. As good as you are with technology, as good as you are with everything else that you're doing, please, please master, learn that curiosity of learning sales, how you must take care of customers, building value. So that's a focus right now, Jagat, because, uh, you know, I mean, platforms like yours, right? With phone, you can use video to do your product demos. You can use video to create a lot of interactions and very, you know, building warm relationships and conversations with uh, your potential customers. And if nothing else, just for the relationship building and for the goodwill. So I think, uh, you know, Jagat, the core now is make sure that, yes, there are challenges, there are problems, uh, the customers are not there, money is not coming in, whatever it is. Use video, digital innovation technologies to build goodwill for the long term. I think that's the core and that's it. That's the only thing that I will be talking about uh, always. And learn new skills, lifelong learning. These are the couple of things. That's it. Wonderful. In fact, uh, thanks for mentioning. I just, in fact, I must say that today is the day I actually uh, formally joined Thai, Thai Bangalore. And I Thank must you. Say Thank you. For... We have heard of, you know, I've heard of the organization for such a while, and it's a privilege for me to associate formally with the company, with the organization. I've, of course, I attended a lot of the workshops, etc. But hopefully, this will be a very rewarding experience both ways. And uh, really looking forward to it. So let's cut to the chase for today. Uh, we are not going to keep it too long. The Vidphone show is probably 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Um, any interesting questions that we find in the ecosystem, we may take it up, try and address them. But this is not going to be your normal one, one and a half hour uh, webinar sessions. It's going to be crisp. We're going to take one topic probably per uh, per session and we're going to go ahead. So let me just quickly get to the, uh, you know, today's uh, episode. And this is what we're going to do today. As Vijeta was saying, Vijeta, am I audible? Everything good? Yes, yes. You are oh. very clear. Yeah. So as Vijeta was saying, today... The, the chips are down for for industry of worldwide. Things are really difficult in terms of business, customers. But let me say that there is a silver lining in this whole uh, gloom. I would say there is a lot of gloom today, but I don't think yet that we have seen the doom. So before we get there, I think the world needs to quickly learn the new ways of doing business. What we have always said uh, for the past two years, we have been actually propagating what we call the video business model, completely no contact, remote uh, business model that you know we have been coming up with for a while. And I must say that today we are really uh, happy that all the pieces of this puzzle are in place. 
a, a, a business or a startup can definitely just think of their idea, have their product or service, and basically their entire customer experience is going to be handled on video. And that's what we call the video business model, whether it's communication or, you know, the whole uh, value proposition being delivered on video. This is what it's about, right? So let me go to the finer nuances of what this video business model is. Don't get too scared by the, uh, you know, by the web. We will kind of take that one at a time. Let's, and this is, of course, part one. This is, you know, part one of this series. Uh, the first one, which I'm going to call real-time video distribution. And this is something that's critical today. Today, everyone has to understand real-time video distribution. And all of those words are, difficult, are, are kind of important here. The very first being that today it's real-time. Gone are the days when you used to send an email or send a mail or, you know, send a recorded video out and hope for something good to happen. Today, we live in a very, very, you know, real-time world. Everything is happening, you know, right there. And to also go with the customers and the overall world's mindset of what we can call, you know, instant gratification. There is nothing uh, better than me, you know, video calling somebody and having that person face to face to be able to have an interaction. Right now, there is no platform or no communication medium that beats that one to one video experience. So this is the most important thing. And this has a few components. Let me get to them very quickly. And then, of course, for those who are interested, you can be part of our other sessions and our mailing list. So you'll be able to get a lot more insights into how to run this video business model, right? So the very first component of this is, of course, what I call the home platform. This really is your digital home on the internet, right? And it could be a website and it could be a mobile app. These are the two main areas or the, you know, what we call the digital home uh, for the business. One is you can have a web application. Of course, you have a website, browser-based, where you're not really dependent on app stores. You can basically you know, build out your website, have your idea, push it out, and it's there uh, immediately. Of course, you let some time for the DNS servers to propagate, DNS to propagate, but it's pretty much instantaneous. And every push that, every update that you make is, is instantaneous. You have no gatekeepers there. It's a very, very free uh, kind of world. And then the other side, we have mobile apps. Of course, since 2012, 2013, we have seen, at least in India, Android really penetrate into our, uh, into our ecosystem. And you've also had the iPhone, uh, iPhone apps with the app stores really penetrate. Now, the, only the main differences between web application, web-based business, web, uh, you know, home, and uh, you know, mobile app-based kind of business is that one on, on the web, you, you're completely in control of most of the things that you want to do. Uh, you don't really have to depend on any gatekeepers. While on the uh, on the other hand, uh, I'm not saying here that uh, that the existing Play Stores or, or the App Store are evil. There is a lot of talk about this today in the Indian ecosystem. But I must uh, take this opportunity to thank both of these organizations, Google and Apple, for really uh, bringing the world onto such an on-demand uh, you know kind of environment. Right? Uh, you could never have push notifications and on-demand economy if it weren't for App Stores. And I must give it to, you know, the, the founders of both, you know, the, uh, the organizations, Android, as well as, uh, you know, Steve Jobs, when he built it out along with the Apple team for the app stores. But the, the main thing is, of course, you have complete control over your web application, but you may not have complete control all the time over your mobile apps, right? Uh, and of course, discoverability is a big factor. You can use things like SEO uh, a lot more effectively on web. But you can't really, you know, do such things. Of course, there is App Store optimization, but there is no playbook on ASO. While there are some rules, uh, you know, these rules can keep changing every day, and people really don't have any control uh, to control their, you know, kind of listings, right? But what's critical is that you have a home on the internet where your customers can come, they can engage, and they can transact with your business, right? This is really the, the number one part. And the second I would go to is is what we can call traffic sources. Now. The world has become, you know, too social in the in the world in the way that, uh, in fact, there, there was an ad recently. If someone's watching the IPL, which is, you know, uh, quite uh, popular nowadays uh, on TV, you will see a, a web hosting company actually saying that, uh, you know, can you clap with one hand? And uh, it takes two hands to clap. And these two hands on the digital world are 
one being your website or your mobile app, which I explained, and the second, which is your traffic, which is your social media. One of the main things, of course, is social media. And it takes both traffic along with a, a home or a website to actually run a successful business. Now, what are these traffic sources? Of course, you could look at social, as I said, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. You have, uh, you know, most importantly, you have your email list. Now, for most businesses, uh, having your own email list is, is very, very powerful simply because you have, again, 100% control over your email list, right? Nobody can take that away from you. Tomorrow, a social media platform like Facebook or Google, they could, you know, or Google being a search uh, platform or an ad platform or LinkedIn, they could change their algorithm any day. And that would, you know, instantly lead to lesser reach for you. And, you know, you, you would not be able to uh, actually distribute your stuff I mean, use it as a traffic source. And again, we, we have in India as well, the new uh, data protection laws that are coming out. So a lot of things will change. So you don't have too much of control over a lot of your social but you have 100% control over your email list. And that's really important. And of course, you have things like SEO, uh, various other, you know, Instagram, uh, you can do influencer marketing, affiliate marketing, and a whole bunch of other ways, uh, blogging as well. Uh, you can look at all of these ways to actually get to, you know, to have traffic sources. The third, uh, you know, part, which I think is the most important, is actually the, the content strategy and the topics, right? Uh, how do you build good positioning and good messaging, right? Uh, and I think this is very important. Today, in, in, on the social media uh, and on other platforms, there is an overdose of information, right? Uh, people uh, have heard, have had so much of information that they really don't know what to do with all of that information. So it's very important to be very precise in what exactly, uh, you know, the, the, the business is trying to offer online because it, it's, it's a completely different world out here in the digital space. It's all about what we call, or, or you know, at, at Witphone, we call it the attention economy. And I think that's really the future. Uh, it's already the present, I would say, and even more so going further, right? So what we are talking about or what is the content strategy, the positioning and the message is very, very important when it comes uh, to the video business model. The last piece, I mean, the, the, you know, the, the, the next piece that we would talk about is what we call the content pieces. Now, these are the individual shareable pieces of content. These you can call as your deliverables in terms of the uh, creative, right? Uh, this is very important because this is the tangible aspect of, uh, you know, actually digital distribution. And uh, this, these are the content pieces that get generated hour after hour or day after day, which your audience is actually being exposed to, right? And uh, we get a lot more into this content pieces and how to create uh, really, uh, you know, shareable, shareworthy content uh, in some time. And of course, not all of this content is, is stuff that we have actually uh, done and implemented. This is stuff that we have done, but at the same time, uh, we also learn from a lot of other people who are you know, really experts in their, in their space. And we kind of put that together to make it uh, a lot more useful uh, you know, to the audience as well. And the last part that I would cover today very quickly is the tracking and optimization. Now, I think this is a piece of, of the whole puzzle that many people may forget. They may put out content, they may do a webinar, they may do a video post, but then they would see that, hey, you know, I'm not really getting the kind of response that I expected and people may give up, right? Or worse, they may actually try some other methods and keep jumping from one method to the other and find that nothing really works. And that's because typically, uh, you know, we call it beginner's luck. And uh, not everybody gets lucky the first time they do something, right? Uh, if you're really fortunate and, and the stars have aligned for you, you know, best wishes to you. I think you're, you're on the right track. But I think for most people, uh, it takes a few iterations and a few trials to get things right. And I think that's very important to understand in the beginning because everybody today is doing video. So why would your video post or video creative actually stand out? And I think there are some tracking tools and optimization methods that we will talk about a lot more uh, you know, in the future. It's going to be really, really exciting because this is going to be the future of business. Now, the whole business model is going to actually happen on video. And what encompasses all of these things is that while it can apply to, let's say, text-based or images or even, you know, podcasts and audio, video is the most powerful medium today to, to do all of this stuff. Your website or your mobile app has to be video first, which means it has to have functionalities like video streaming, video conferencing, video chat. Do you have a live chat widget? Do you have SDKs that integrate into your, into your application? Most of your traffic sources today are rewarding only if you have videos. 
you will see that if you just open Facebook or, or LinkedIn, you will see that most of social media posts are, are focused, you know, 80% of the posts will be video. You can just test it out. You can just go and scroll through and you will see that everything is, is video. And your content strategy and topics, uh, video really helps, uh, you know, the, the company be precise in their message, be very, very, you know, uh, con you know uh, concise at the same time being uh, very uh, emotive and also being expressive. You know, these, these are, I think, critical aspects of video that do not necessarily come out in, uh, let's say, uh, you know, email marketing or other, or even Im even images, right? So you have graphic or graphic uh, creatives that may not really give you the kind of effect or, or the feel that a short video could do. And again, the content pieces, how easy is it for, for you to share small video clips, video, video nuggets? Uh, I think uh, this is going to become very critical. It's no more about making videos, you know, taking two days to produce them, doing the whole video editing. I think all of the world, you know, the whole world's moving towards live video and real time video. And I think uh, there is a certain art and craft that needs to be built up by video creators who are doing live video content. And of course, the tracking and optimization. Video has a lot of different kind of, uh, you know, metrics that needs to be tracked. It's not only about the click rates or the open rates, uh, but it's also about, uh, you know, being able to micro tag what kind of video content appeals to certain, you know, kinds of people. Uh, when are they watching these videos? What is the duration of these videos? Uh, for example, where are they commenting? Which post, which, which you know, timestamps or which pieces of, or, you know, which periods of time are they commenting? I think these uh, really give you insight into how deep a customer is. Let me give you an example. Let's say that you have a customer who's, you know, posted a comment to you at when you're, you know, fifth minute into your webinar. Or let's say there's another person who's, who's posted a comment when you're in your 50th minute of your webinar. Which of these uh, people do you think is a lot more interested in your product or service? I definitely think the person who's been there till the 50th minute, because he has actually taken the effort to go through what you're saying and uh, go ahead. So this does not typically exist in, in text or, or in image uh, Im images kind of you know uh, context. So just summing up very quickly, the, the video business model is the business model for 2020, for 2021, and, and the foreseeable future. And what's most important is that all aspects of video distribution, real-time distribution, uh, needs to be in place for a startup to be able to grow. Uh, I wouldn't even say 10x. You can probably go multiple times that because that's the nature of video. So I would say a minimum of 10x growth for startups if they implement the video, video business model. What's critical is that uh, we are not saying that, hey, you can go out and do all of this stuff by yourself, right? Uh, we have been in the video space now for half a decade. We have been in the digital transformations uh, you know, uh, space as an, as an enterprise, a company, for a decade now, for 10 years. And we want to be able to offer this to all of the startups uh, around India and hopefully around the world as well. Because let, let's be honest about it, guys. The, you know, To all the startup founders and CEOs, the world needs you right now more than ever before. The existing establishments of large organizations have, have, you know, are having a really tough time uh, keeping up with what's happening in the world. And it requires disruptive thinking. It requires growth-focused uh, mindsets. And it requires you know, entrepreneurs who are willing to take risk and actually you know, get rewarded in the long term uh, by actually you know, taking the plunge and building amazing companies. So with that, I would like to just you know, end this uh, you know, session right now. Uh, I'm open to, we'll have a quick Q&A with uh, Vijeta, and then we can actually you know, say uh, bye-bye, and you can all head for, for dinner. <laughs> hey, Jagat, very insightful, OK? So now, OK, let's focus on video, OK? And, and let's be candid over here, right? So you also have channels like Vimeo and YouTube, number one. Number two, you have Vidphone TV as well, right? Now, but let's talk about the perspective of the founders. They have all their websites, right? And then they're creating a lot of YouTube content. They're creating, of course, they are not just not just YouTube content or video content. They're doing blogs. They're doing white papers. They're doing so many things. They're attending webinars. They're creating so much of content, which can be consumed visually, right? Audio and visually. And I like the pointer that you said, no, do more and more analytics. Now, I know that Vidphone has created about 25, 30 odd videos already because of this league of extraordinary startups where you have been calling uh, you know, founders and getting them to share their insights and all that. So from your analytics, uh, Jagat, what has really stood out? Which has had the most views? What has been the pull factor, et cetera, et cetera? Maybe some very simple insights you can share. 
So I wouldn't, uh, you know, take a particular name of a startup. It would be unfair yeah. to everybody. Yeah, of course, of but, course. But, yeah. But but let me tell you this. I think what's very important. Let's say that in the let's say attendee uh, kind of response, right? Uh, and I'm sure you at Thai would have a lot of access to to a lot of wonderful webinars that that you are also doing. And when we go through those, uh, you know, simple analytics, uh, I would just like to share maybe three uh, very important uh, takeaways that we have seen. Number one, I think, is uh, it does matter as to what is the content of that program. I think if I do a, a, a particular show or, or, a, or a webinar about something very obscure, uh, something let's say that is is catering to a very small niche of you know let's say industrial uh, something, it may not get the kind of response as somebody who's doing let's say a consumer app. If somebody is doing something really cool in terms of the consumer. Definitely, we do expect that because it, it applies to a lot of people. They all feel that hey, I want to be part of the social network. I want to try out this, uh, you know, consumer uh, product which helps me fight, uh, you know, uh, Corona at some level. You know, with, for example, Minion Labs. Shout out to Gokul. I think he's won an award again. Uh, yeah. Kudos to him. So a product, oh, amazing. Like, yes. So a product like Minion Lab is a product like that would get a lot more uh, kind of traction yeah. because it's a consumer product. But yes, if I look yes. at something very obscure in the enterprise space, or let's say, you know. Uh, something to do manufacturing, uh, you know, procurement related, that would probably get a lot less. So what I'd say is that the content is very important, but not to say that the kind of engagement would be different. You would get in 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 the other space, you would get very few people, but they would be really people who are in that domain. So you their attention span would be a lot more, right? It'd be a lot longer, but you would find the numbers are a lot more here. That's number one. The second that I've seen is uh, things like discipline. This is like I've seen very very important. If if the presenters are late on a webinar, I think you will see a lot of drop-offs. Hmm. Not only does that uh, reflect the lack of professionalism a lot of times, but it's really saying that hey, you know, you're not part of my attention economy, right? My attention. I said that hey, 7:30, I'm going to just tune into your show, and if you are not here at 7:30 and you make me wait for four minutes, well, that means that you know my attention has already gone somewhere else, right? My, you know, my spouse may have called me, or my colleague would have called me, or I'm, you know, going back to some TV channel. So that's very critical. Once you lose them, well, they're already hooked to that, right? And especially nowadays, you have IPL. So if you miss this time, you're gone. There's no way you'll get, you know, get people back, right? That's the second. And the third is what I want to say. This is the most important thing, and this is where I believe that with Vidphone, you know, you asked me the question. There is YouTube, there is Vimeo, there are other platforms, but. What at Vidphone, you know, one of the main things that we have seen is that if you can broadcast to multiple destinations through one place, that's going to get you a lot more visitors than just saying one place. It could be YouTube, it could be Facebook Live, it could be Vimeo, it could be any other, it could be Periscope, Instagram Live. But through Vidphone, now you know that's another feature that I would I would like to talk about here. Not that I want to sell the product, but I'm just saying that how you can be more efficient in your video marketing, and one of the ways to do that is to actually uh, be able to broadcast to multiple destinations through just one click of a button right so with vidphone for example you can come configure your your whole setup and you can just put in your youtube and your uh, facebook channels you put in a key and every time you go live you know you're you're live on all of those platforms and the benefit of that is that youtube has a different way of sorting its algorithms you might see that you will get a lot of notifications when people are are live on facebook and on on youtube and because that's because Google and Facebook both are rewarding live video more than ever before. Yeah, and correct. that's the whole thing. The moment you go live on two, three platforms, boom, you know, you're showing up in their recommended and, and the visitors are seeing you. So I think that's a game changer today, right? It's no more about, hey, I'm on Zoom or I'm doing this XYZ webinar over here. Look, nobody really cares. What they want, what they really want is, can you be on the platform that I am on? I'm on Facebook right now. Can you come here? I'm on uh, you know, YouTube, I'm just browsing around. Can you come here? Why should I come to your platform? Or the best part is, of course, with Vidphone, again, another thing is that you can have this on your own website. It's what we call embeddable webinars or you know, embeddable TV. You can basically, you know, xyz.com, as I said, that's your home on the internet. You want traffic to come there. You don't want traffic to go to Zoom's website or to YouTube. You actually want them to come to your website so they can actually purchase from you. <laughs> the moment you do embeddable webinars, you can also drive that traffic straight to your own website or your so mobile. It's about, yeah. So what you're saying is engagement, interactions with the customers, making the buying decision or the, or the interactions so much more smoother, cleaner and closer. You're digital, but you're very, very close to them and you can be on different parts of the world. Oh, yes. Also, you know, I like this part about, yes, you have to start on time, be disciplined, 
show up, speak properly, you have a nice, correct ambience in your room or whatever, like, you know, how you are sitting down very, in a very nice manner. Yes, yes. So I think these are some of the, maybe Jagat, some of the things that you owe to people is, you know, create, I know you have an FAQs also, but maybe you can create some of these four or five pointers. You know, I know you do beautiful graphics as a founder, you're also a designer. So, <laughs> you know, multitasking all the time. Maybe create some of these simple, short, simple content whenever you get time and push it out to people. I think founders who have been coming and, you know, I think you're part of so many other groups and now you're a time member as well. So you owe it to the community. And of course, I hope they give it back by becoming your customer. Right. <laughs> no, I think so that, it's well said, you know, it, it, it's, it's really, I think that uh, nobody owes, actually speaking, you know, uh, my uh, people who watch LXS or the people who are part, they don't owe us anything. Hmm. Uh, and, and the bottom line is that if we can deliver value to them, I think, hmm. you know, the commercial transaction aspect is something that it will always be handled. I think in India as well, I really appreciate the fact that though our per capita, etc. may not be that high. I've heard a lot of people tell me that, Jagat, you know, you always offer these things so many times free of cost and you say, you know, try your business models. And you, I know that it's costing you so much of money because you know that AWS and, you know, other, other infrastructure related costs for us are real. Uh, these are really expensive than mm -hmm. other startup founders who have, you know, maybe CRUD applications, uh, just text-based data, images data. It really doesn't eat up into your uh, infra. But the way I look at it is, is not like that. This is basically, as I've said before to you as well, right? One to one, I've said this many times. It's really about who we are inside and what we want to do from, from, our, from our inside out. We really don't see that, hey, you are this person and what can you give us? We, we kind of don't approach life this way, right? Of course, of think, course. Uh, yeah. It's a symbiotic live, relationship. Live and let live. Huh? Live and let live. Is Absolutely. Your... <laughs> and, and, you know, offer as much as you can because yeah. I think we become a better company when we do that. And that's the yeah. most important to me. Of course, our pricing is amongst the uh, lowest in the world. Everybody knows that. And, you know, being an Indian company, this is something that we have to maintain. We don't aim to be really a premium kind of service for a long time because, hey, you know, we have the largest number of poor people here in the country. And till every one of them, we are making an effort to move, not just Correct. me, but collectively sure, as an sure. ecosystem. I think we have a long way off. So absolutely, I think, uh, you know, it's going to be a great time. Awesome, awesome. And yes, it, one has to learn the digital tools and uh, master it because it is important, number one. And Jagat, you know, we had promised that we will not yeah. make it more than half an hour. So Absolutely. that's there. So some of the things, the uh, takeaways, uh, I just, uh, if you don't mind, <coughs> prepare some nice content for uh, people. I also know that uh, Saturday we are doing a very nice League of Extraordinary Startups, by the way, guys, with a gentleman called Vish Ja from Sarthi.ai. Common friend, someone that I also know for a few years, awesome dude. Uh, very hard working, doing a lot of thing on vernacular. So that's coming up on Saturday. Number one. Number two, Jagat, even the Sunday session that we want to do with some of the founders where they talk about their problems yeah. and uh, what are the solutions that they can help with each other. See, for us, you know, I mean, I'm not just saying this because Thai Bangalore and you're a member or whatever it is, but there's so much more that we can do to guide, support, give resources. And uh, some other things, uh, Jagat, that we would, uh, I would, I would again request you because you, are, you know, you're taking your time out, but you know, we've been also saying that, you know, you have raised some seed funding, you have raised some money from angels, etc. So, and without divulging any of those kind of details, but I think some of these things about term sheets, about shareholder agreements, about what is binding, what is not binding, how do you prepare yourself well, and maybe some of those things follow up rounding, maybe some of the things from a founder, again, I stress, from a founder's perspective, for early stage entrepreneurs, maybe sure. we can we can think of such kind of programs in whatever else that you're doing for Witfo, at Witfo. Okay? Definitely. Buy with phone. So it's like a democracy, right? Uh, so good. Absolutely. good. Or, Looking or, forward. Absolutely. Wonderful. Yeah. Looking forward. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. This is the very first episode of the with phone show. I hope there were some interesting takeaways around the video business model. We'll be covering a lot more things in the next episode. And uh, please share this around with your friends. You never know who's actually going to benefit from it. Again, thanks, awesome. Vijeta, for taking out your precious time and no joining problem, us sir. on this. Really, really wonderful of you. I always learn. I love the way you prepare this very you know, beautiful mind mapping. And uh, I think you, you will keep building on it because I know you really care for all those founders. Even when we used to talk at NASCOM, you have been doing, I remember, you know, all those sessions that you used to do in that uh, events room, bring people together. Now we're doing it virtually. We're doing it on Witphone. And uh, yes, and, you know, always looking for feedback, Chaka, that we can do as a community. What else can we do? All right. Absolutely. Take care, sir. I appreciate it. And Thank don't you. work too hard, sleep well, and stay safe and healthy also, everyone. Cheers. You too, everybody. Thanks a lot. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Thanks.